Извештајот на Комитетот против тортура во затворите, Комитет на Советот на Европа, заклучува дека нема подобрување од предходните посети во Македонија. Може ли да кажете прецизно за што станува збор? As you know, we conducted a visit last year. Actually, it was exactly uh, one year ago uh, that we came to, uh, to the country for a periodic visit. And the visit focused on all aspects of our mandate, police, prisons, psychiatry, and social care. And the report concludes uh, that there has been no improvement in the treatment of personally deprived of liberty by the police. And uh, there are some timid improvements when it comes to prisons, in particularly the maintenance uh, uh, of uh, premises, some small repairs and refurbishments conducted in particularly a Skopje prison, Shutka, Prilep, and to a limited extent it is a prison, but the main problem that still remains relates to the creation of a professional management system within the prison administration and the recruitment of additional prison staff and the creation of a real accountable and independent prison system, which is free from political influence and uh, uh, political appointments. This is the main test. And uh, the recent visit, as you know, that was conducted last week by our president, as well as the vice governor of the Council of Europe Development Bank was to meet with the new authorities that are in place already for 100 days and to test their commitments to resolve in particular the issues related to prison reform that I was just mentioning. Што точно видовте во затворивте, како заклучивте дека има исклучително лош третман? The situation at the Trisovo prison in particular when it comes to the old building, the closed regime section of it is a prison have been described many times by our committee already since its first visits in 2006 and have not changed in particularly and these are well known they are described in all our reports in particularly uh, uh, the ambulanta uh, section uh, offers unfortunately deplorable conditions of detentions in terms of hygiene in terms of high level of interprisoner violence in terms of uh, of uh, overcrowding and unfortunately these have not changed and they could only change if a new uh, uh, prison section is built with the loan of the council of Europe development bank and they can only be addressed by unfortunately by raising this close regime building to the ground and accommodate all these persons in new premises and this will only take place in the next years if of course, the uh, project related to the loan of the Council of Development Bank is implemented. So what we discussed with the authorities is that they provide funding for this project because there is a part of the, of the loan that has to be provided uh, by the uh, authorities, by the Macedonian authorities. And if a real professional uh, management and professional uh, corps of prison officers is established. So new premises managed by uh, professional staff, staff that is adequately trained, that is accountable, that is not corrupt, and that is ready and also motivated to undertake uh, what is one of the most difficult tasks in the prison, in the public administration, which is managing prisons. It is one of the most demanding tasks by the whole, by, through the whole spectrum of public administration. Корупцијата е стар проблем во Македонија. Кои се методите кажете како да се бори Македонија против овој проблем? Well, there are reporting lines. We cannot say that uh, the Macedonian authorities are not invested in this, huh? because as you know very well, and you see also reports in the media, there are frequent uh, searches uh, uh, within prisons uh, where they seized uh, mobile phones and other objects that are forced. Uh, introduced, uh, of course, anyway, through the, uh, maybe by families, but also by prison staff, in particular the Drizovo prisons. Scanners have been procured. There are uh, prison intelligence uh, projects that are uh, being developed, uh, in particular through the assistance of the US and UK embassy. So we cannot say that nothing has been done. Certain steps have been uh, taken in that respect. There are communication lines between the prison administration and the special prosecutors on anti-corruption. So 
efforts are invested, but it's, certainly it is not easy to eradicate completely this pro, uh, this uh, this uh, this uh, phenomenon only through some activities. I think there have to be several prosecutions. There have to be clear messages that are sent to prison staff that this type of of behavior and, acti and actions are not tolerated. And only, I think, through the effective prosecutions and also dismissal of some staff, I think such message will be sent. And also, in the meantime, you know that the massive authorities have been recruiting new staff. So we hope that this new staff will be clearly motivated, will be trained, and will uh, receive the message that this, in the future, this type of acts are not tolerated, as it is the case in many other countries. You know that uh, uh, there are several prisoners in all prisons in North Macedonia who have mobile phones and they communicate freely with the outside world through their mobile phone. This, unfortunately, in the future will not be allowed. And in parallel, a um, full regime of purposeful activities have to be have to be developed. Uh, so there will have not to be uh, uh, recognition, for example, by prison directors that okay, there is no regime of activity. So at least let let's allow prisoners to keep mobile phones so to keep them calm but unfortunately this in a proper and accountable and professional prison system will not be allowed as it is the case in many other countries of course in the council of europe region partizacijata na administracijata je povrzana so korupcijata vi je to dobro go znate i zato ve prašuvam kako da se bori makedonija protiv ta partizacija za ova govorime so decenije you have uh, uh, already a legal framework which is conducive to the appointment of prison managers that are competent. There are, they have uh, uh, specific uh, uh, responsibility in the executions of, uh, of sanctions. So the legal framework is there and the legal frameworks have been supported and advocated by the Council of Europe for many years. What happens, I think it is what happens uh, across the whole public administration and you know better than me that whenever a new majority comes into place there is a sort of spoil system spoiling system uh, that uh, ensures that uh, the prison directors and senior managers are appointed mainly through party lines and not necessarily through uh, uh, meritocracy or meri meritocratic lines and uh, this has been once against the case with one exception for example i think and this is already one good development the director of the prison is the same, has remained the same, regardless of the change of government. And this is a person that has been recognized as a professional of integrity, of professional integrity, also in the light of his past experience in the police. So he's recognized as a person who can enforce certain reforms. So let's say this is already one development. What we would like to see, we would like to see in the future is that, for example, the head of prison administration is appointed anyway because of his meritocratic and also the prison, the prison directors are appointed because of their competence rather than the affiliation to a certain party. This will take time. And we have said uh, several times, which uh, set out our recommendations that the law has to be complied with, the law has to be respected through. We hope that as it will be the case with the rest of the public administration, these appointments will be made through meritocratic lines, that will be a professional corps of prison managers that will be able to effectively ma uh, manage prisons in the future and that their appointments will not necessarily be based upon party lines, but will be made because of their recognized uh, competency in the uh, executions of uh, criminal sanctions. And I stress once again, this is one of the most complex uh, tasks within the prison administration. This is said in the European prison rules, among others, and they must come from a corps of professional managers. So we hope that with the process of European integration, this will be, this will be uh, the future, and this will be uh, a recognized fact that will also be acknowledged by the Council of Europe in the future. Nije sme zakočeni v procesot na pregovori so Evropskata Unija so vetata na Bulgarija. Vi je to dobro go znajete. Yes, we, had, uh, we are aware of the, of the political situation. Of course, we do not comment on that because we are a non-political body in the end. What we comment is what we see within uh, uh, within uh, uh, places of deprivation of liberty. We can only hope that, you know, uh, your country has a long, unfortunately, long uh, uh, experience with European integration with uh, several pitfalls. So we can only hope anyway that uh, this uh, uh, process will proceed smoothly 
without, of course, commenting on the current uh, impasse with uh, with uh, and, uh, with some neighboring countries. But we, we can only hope that we proceed smoothly because we know that uh, the prison reform is will be part of the EU conditionality and will be only be resolved anyway once negotiations, in particular chapter 23 and 24, will start and uh, there will be a specific benchmarkings that uh, reflects our recommendations among others. So we, on, we can only hope that it will proceed smoothly. That's the only thing we can say at this stage. Без ваша поддршка е невозможно да се подобри ситуацијата во Македонија да се започнат преговорите со Европската унија. We are aware of that and uh, I think that uh, the discussions with all uh, with uh, all authorities in Skopje last week only uh, revealed uh, that there is a clear commitment towards uh, uh, EU integration and EU accession. And this was also stressed uh, among others also by the EU head of delegation. So uh, uh, what we are talking about right now, in particular when it comes to prison reforms, but also police and psychiatry, of course, it's part of the Copenhagen criteria and the respect of the rule of law and human rights. So we can only hope that it will be addressed and resolved uh, through the EU accession. But the assurance that we received by, in particular, by the Prime Minister himself is that your government is fully committed. And we can only hope that uh, the stumbling block at the moment will only be resolved, of course, with political dialogue and also the uh, uh, third, uh, uh, let's say, the uh, negotiations and also through the intervention as a, a third party by the by the EU. So these are bilateral issues, unfortunately. You have a long story, uh, an unfortunate story so of bilateral stumbling blocks. We hope they will be removed, but we cannot comment on that as a non-political body. Neli dobro dnevno da rabotite so makedonskite vlasti, ne samo da nabljudovate tuku i da rabotite so nif. Well, we have a, a cooperation program on, on our issues uh, uh, that is investing a lot, in particular in the issues of concerns, police, prisons, and, and, uh, and that psychiatry. We also held a round table, and the Council of Europe Organization is fully committed to invest in the implementation of the uh, projects that relate, of course, to our uh, to the um, remit of our committee, which is prison reform and police reform. The Council of Europe in that respect is committed and is fully investing in the prison section, also among others, through donations uh, to prison health care, through the training of uh, uh, staff. And we have a long story on that investment. So and I think in that respect, the Council of Europe is fully committed. And uh, we can only hope that this will will uh, uh, bring and bring about the positive assessments from our side that will also facilitate the EU integration in the end. Because as you know, the EU looks and takes into account the uh, findings of monitoring bodies such as ours in uh, respect of assessing the readiness of your country to uh, for EU accession and EU integration. Yeah, of course, and I think I fully agree with that. I think in that respect, the Council of Europe is fully committed that is doing anyway through the many projects that are implemented by the Council of Europe office, for example, in Skopje. Uh, uh, this is, of course, technical cooperation. Anyway, it needs time to bear fruits and uh, to have also an impact uh, at the political level. But I think that if all these projects are implemented, in particular, I'm talking about now what is in our remit, so prison reform, if these projects are implemented in full compliance, in bona fide, in good faith, they will also anyway, bring to a positive assessment of our committee. And this, and this can only be beneficial in uh, the EU accession and the EU negotiations. And, uh, and will also be beneficial in resolving, in showing uh, anyway, that your government has the goodwill and an authentic will uh, to uh, EU accession and will, also be, will only be beneficial to resolving what are the stumbling blocks at, at the current moment at the political level. I think in that respect, uh, uh, this can only show the implementation of these projects and assistance can only show the good commitment and the good faith and can only be beneficial in the end to your accession in accelerating this path that is too long. This we have to say. Willite de ka ima ujasen tretman vo bolnicite psihiatriskite bolnici vo Makedonija? This is uh, something that unfortunately is a bit neglected uh, in the media because uh, when we go uh, uh, in the media, we publish our report, uh, we focus in particularly what is the main problems, which is prisons. And we tend to neglect, unfortunately, the problems that have been identified by other uh, committee in the field of psychiatry, in particular the situation at the Mirhisar 
psychiatric hospital and in Skopje. Uh, as you see, the report that we published, in particular in the response, the uh, Macedonian authorities refer to uh, the implementation of some of our recommendations, and this refer to the some ameliorations, but still are still not sufficient in the material conditions, in particular the Mirhisar, uh, the renovation of sanitary facilities, and so on and so forth. But unfortunately, there are still not enough funds to address all unrenovated wards at the Mihisar and also as copy prison, as, as sorry, as copy of psychiatric hospital Bardoxi. And uh, this will only need, anyway, additional financial investments. And we know which are the financial constraints at the moment by your government, uh, that your government is under. So we can only hope, anyway, that more and more funds will be found, also maybe through international funds, through investments in renovated the old parts of the two uh, psychiatric hospitals. And we were also encouraged by the fact that uh, uh, informal uh, unit, uh, segregation unit of uh, forensic psychiatry Bardossi has been closed, so that our uh, recommendation in that respect have been uh, followed and implemented, and also that the authorities have removed the chains, metal chains, at the Mirhisa psychiatric hospitals. They were still used, unfortunately, and we found evidence in that in 2023 for the restraining of patients. And uh, uh, they purchased the um, straps, the uh, 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 straps of synthetic uh, uh, material that they are now used for the restraining of patients at, uh, at um, the Binghisa Psychiatric Hospital when necessary, of course. So we are satisfied with this type of response. It is still not enough because still more attention has to be devoted to psychiatric hospitals. And uh, we will continue to monitor the situation. That's the only thing I can say at this stage. Kadevo Evropa ima pacijenti koji se vrzani so železni lanci na nivnite kreveti. Kažete mi jedna zemlja. Not many, I have to say, in the Council of Europe. We find, we found evidence, uh, but we, 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 can, we can be satisfied that at least uh, had been removed what will be said, and we hope we will not find them any longer when we come back to the Mihisa Psychiatric Hospital. But I have to say, not many countries use metal chains for the restraining of patients. Well, okay. we cannot say none in the Council of Europe. I'm saying in the Council of Europe, we find yeah. some instances, we found also some instances in neighboring countries. Not One can country. never say never, you know, there's also some countries in the European Union that use uh, uh, very, very uh, strict uh, uh, use of means of restraints. We cannot exclude that we'll not find, but uh, it's, it's true, it's very rare that we find. Što veti premier od Mickovski na vašata delegacija od Sovjetot na Evropa? Ima li nekakov rok koji go dade? Yes, the Prime Minister expressed the commitments anyway that the prison reform will be at the top of his agenda in effect that he has appointed as uh, director execution of sanction a very uh, very senior member of uh, the ruling party is an assurance that uh, the necessary attention will be devoted um, there are not specific deadlines but uh, uh, in particularly I can refer to the fact that the government is now um, uh, trying to secure the funds for the real start of the project on the reconstruction of Idrisovo, and you know that there is a share of 60 million euros that has to be found in addition to the 25 million euros that will be provided as a loan by the Council of Development Bank. So this is a most immediate deadline that needs to be met. The Prime Minister said he will speak with the Minister of Finance in the coming days and that will they will try to secure this fund. So this is a most immediate deadline that he will try to verify but we are very optimistic he was optimistic and we are also optimistic in that respect because this will allow the start of the tendering process and the real construction activities for the re reconstructions uh, of uh, the pre-trial facility and the sentence facility drizzle prison without this um i'm afraid anyway there will be no real prison reform uh, that we have discussed earlier on so this is the most immediate deadline Дали вие имате некаков рок кој се однесува на властите до Македонија да ја, да ја подобрат ситуацијата во врска со затворите болниците? We do not have a specific deadline. We received the assurances from this government and this, as you know, new authorities that will address the, our recommendation in the most serious manner. So as you know, we can conduct visits anytime. We do not have a specific deadline. We will certainly uh, we will be visiting the, the country um, I would say in the short term, we need to give, leave them time to work and we will assess once again uh, the situation. We благодарам за ovaj razgovor.